Initially, I was gonna get this video out on the 27th, you know, to kind of make the joke of like, oh, you're supposed to spend birthdays with your friends and, you know, spending it with Dykeiser, etc, etc. But the first time I recorded it, it was basically at the end of the day where I was like, just kind of like euphoric and also tired. So it's like a weird combination of emotions. So I feel like I didn't really do much justice to the deck itself and I don't want to like, you know, just upload that as it is. So let's do it one more time. Before we do that, however... I wanted to give a quick thank you to our actual community because y'all people, you know, the whether you're just watching on YouTube or come through to the Discord or watch the Twitch streams, the level of support I get from you guys is actually insane. And so if you want to leave a link in the description to the Twitch VOD, but I got super surprised where turns out like 30-ish members of the community essentially put their time and efforts together to not only like gift me a special birthday cake that you'll see here with a picture right now but also you know produce this which is a playmat that is drawn by Der Zweite and colored by my friend uh, one of my best IRL friends Cortrix so you know you can see my reactions to all, the, all of this and all the other things that y'all did man like I I've said it on stream plenty of times but I'm I'm I don't comprehend myself how lucky I am to have such an amazing community. I'm legit, like, way too lucky to have a community and, like, just a viewer base that's so damn just amazing. I've also talked about on my streams a fair bit how, like, you know, I see other streamers kind of, like, keep a distance from their community and just, like, not really interact as much and just kind of, like, you know, do their thing on stream and, like, you know, interact with the community on stream. But then once it comes to, like, discords or Twitter or anything, they just kind of, like, you know, step back. Whereas for me, I always like that extra factor of like talking to you guys in the Discord, etc. So honestly, just thank you for making my birthday be like normal. I don't really stress about my birthdays or anything. It's just like, you know, a fun little day to kind of like relax. I just give myself a holiday basically just to chill on those days. But y'all actually made it super memorable and, you know, a day to be remembered for many years to come. So huge, huge thank you for that. Anyway, it is time to take a look at one of the decks that came out of the most recent set. Uh, well, most recent, we're already at the end of the month and I haven't even covered these decks because I was climbing with other things and doing a lot of overdress content uh, and, you know, TCG content this entire month. So today we're going to take a look at Dykeiser. So this is the first deck I want to cover. After this, we still have to cover uh, from this set. We have Silver Thorns that I will take a look at very soon. This is obviously one of my favorite decks, period. So of course I want to take a look at it quite a lot. And then the other stuff, Magna Colony, I did pull everything for the clan event, so I will be doing that as well. And then we're also going to do Maelstrom. Sadly, duos I'm missing quite a lot still, but we'll do Maelstrom and Silver Thorns like as soon as possible and then the other stuff will kind of come out later on uh, in the coming future. So for now, today, we're going to take a look at what is honestly a basically tier 3 deck, which is Great Deck Kaiser. It's still very fun, but it's a lot worse than Dayusha because Dayusha has the bonus that you basically just get to, like, ride up super early with, like, extra crits and just, like, push your opponent super fast and just murder them, like, as soon as possible. This deck does not have that kind of ability, and the way it pushes is much slower. It lacks cards in hand. You want to rely on Laurel for your extra draw but then you don't have space because you have to run for Kaisard. you know kaiser greater who says when your vanguard is kaiser the great two you can put him into your soul to superior right die kaiser from your deck so it's nice because you jump into grade three immediately and kaiser himself says when you ride over him give 5k to your vanguard so if you ride daish over him turns the crit on immediately with die kaiser makes it 16k so it's fine right to just superior right into die kaiser which is a break ride you know when you break right over him kill almost one give your vanguard plus 10k and a crit and the skill that when you drive check a grade three when your opponent would sentinel for that battle they have to sentinel with two pgs instead so you know it's a very good ability and it helps to close out games and you got a cross ride which is the great die kaiser so great die kaiser says when it attacks on break four count us two draw one and he gets plus one drive for that battle so gets plus one drive which means you have one extra shot of breaking those extra sentinels with the die kaiser and so it's it's a great ability for that but plus one drive in zero just doesn't feel that impactful and i'm kind of glad about that because that means that like the you know when G comes around and like strides get implemented it won't feel as crazy either but his other skill which helps to make this better because otherwise it'd be pretty bad just count us two for plus one drive uh is when he attacks if the attack power was is 15k or higher then uh you counter charge one so you basically only count us one for that extra drive ability so it's pretty nice but sadly the better 
great that Kaiser is still to come, you know, it's the Legion one, and this one is just alright. We're still running, obviously, like, the Dayushas because it's a great card to run. You can also go into it with the Goyusha. It's like, you either Superior Ride into Kaiser using the Kaiser Greater, or you Superior Ride with the Goyusha into Dayusha, and then you just, like, push your opponent. Above all else, you just need to push your opponent to 4 as fast as possible, like, before they hit grade 3. Also, what you can do sometimes is, like, Superior Ride into the regular Dayusha to push them. The next turn, when they push you to 4, you ride into regular Kaiser and then you instantly use the Shadow Kaiser, who says on Rearguard Circle, if your Vanguard is Kaiser, put him into your soul and search your deck for Great Kaiser, Superior Ride it, and then choose a Great 3 from your drop zone and add it back to your deck. So you can recycle triggers, which is really nice, and you know, add a Great 3 count to your deck that can help you hit for Daikaiser skill, and so it's great because you can superior ride on that turn just like that, which is great. Other great twos, Die Dragon is important because it's 12k attacker. This is being run for two reasons: the Die Driller. It's on place kind of must one, give another dimensional robo plus 4k. Actually, no, three reasons. One, it can turn your grade ones into 11k attackers, which is really good because like this. The Kaiser Greater is a dead card in hand after turn two, basically. So you don't really do anything with it. So you can turn it into a nice attacker. Otherwise, you can also power this up to 15, 14k to make sure you get the crit. And also, you can give that 4k to Great Dead Kaiser to turn on the counter charge already. Therefore, you're adding power, but also making up that cost immediately, which is pretty nice. So for that reason, we do like that. And then the final one that I'm running is a one of. I'd like to play maybe two, though, is the Die Barret or Die Ballot. I, I think it's Die Barret. So you can put him into Soul from your guys Circle to give your Vanguard plus 4k, so it's a power-up ability, and then in the soul, if your Vanguard is Dimensional Roll, count us 1 and put this into the drop zone. If you do, your Vanguard gets the following ability. When the attack hits the Vanguard, retire one of the opponent's rear guards. So, we have this, plus the Die Brave, which has the same kind of ability, like in the soul, count us 1, put it in the drop zone, give your Vanguard the skill. When an attack hits the Vanguard, draw 1, right? So these are on-hit, draw, on-hit, retire. With Laurel, you can resign your Vanguard to proc those twice, and I wish I could play more Laurels in this deck, because it's really, really good, but with Kaiser Greater, we need the 4 of them, because we have to hit them by turn two and it's like if you don't it's just a dead card and like but it's there's so much that tempo that you gain is very important for making this deck work because as i said it's your mission is to push them to four as fast as possible and then go into great die kaiser over die kaiser and just like end them on the spot right to just like you know hit them with a guard break they don't have enough pgs or if they do they have an empty hand now and then you finish them next turn instead but it's honestly i'm going to be completely honest with you this deck is not that great <laughs> it's it's really not that great compared to the daisha turbo build it's fun that's all i'll really give it but it's definitely not like super competitive or like something you should be looking at with like competitive viability. Once true great deck Kaiser comes, that'll be a different story. But for the time being, it's just okay, I would say. It's literally just okay. But let's take a look. We might not win any games, honestly, and I won't be surprised. But if we can have some fun with it and show off what it can do, I'll be happy. All right, let's go. Oh, it's Tsar again. Let's go Tsar. Draconov. So, Narukami user. Narukami. You don't play as much Narukami these days. Alright, so here you can see we have like half the puzzle already. Like, you always want to ride Die Brave first, and you want to ride uh, the Kaiser second, and then you want to have a Kaiser Greater in hand eventually. So we're going to mulligan for it, and hopefully hit it. There we go. So now we can ride up into the Die Kaiser and like push them a little bit, which is definitely very good. And so with Die Brave, that's going to be very nice. Alright, so let's see what kind of build this will be. Also, speaking of presents from my family, I received a iPad, which is very nice, so, you know, shout out to the fam for holding it down. This is actually very nice to play Zero on. Like, honestly, I've been debating buying one myself, but then my my family was like, what do we get you? You keep buying yourself everything. And I was like, well, I'm planning to buy myself an iPad eventually. And they were like, don't do it. <laughs> just wait. <laughs> just just, sh just don't do it. I was like, okay, 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 I see. So, yeah. Um, and that's, that's where we're at now. That's where we're at now. But playing Zero on this is so nice. Like, playing Zero on a bigger screen... You could technically say, like, oh, you know, your PC screen is a bigger screen, but honestly, it's, like, barely bigger, and it's also, like, you're super distanced from it. I don't know. PC is nice, because you play with PC, but I always prefer with, like, digital games, I like playing them with touch controls, right? Because it feels like at least I'm interacting physically with a card, whereas with the mouse, it's like I'm just... It's like I'm playing an FPS, or I'm playing, like, I don't know, League or something. I'm just I'm just controlling things with my mouse. I like, I like touch controls with those kind of things, right? I don't know. I don't know if I'm making any sense. I hope I am. <laughs> I hope I am. Anyway, it looks like it's Eradicators, but they keep running this starter, and I never understand it. It's just a 6k Vanguard booster. I guess there's... Do they not like Linchu anymore? I feel like Linchu's still good, though. I don't, I don't really get it, but whatever. Alright, so we're gonna deal one damage there first, then... So he's pushing me to two. 
Next turn, I can, like, go Kaizard, use this, then call another Kaizard, and maybe, like, a Die Brave column or something, and push him to four... Three? I think three I can push him to. Okay, we're seeing all the heals early. Which isn't bad, but also I need damage, so it's kind of bad. It's hard to say. Anyway. Uh, let's see here. Let's just go with the Kaiser Greater already. Let's go into Die Kaiser. That's the boy right there. That's the boy right there. Alright, so we call this out. And then we'll call a double Die Brave column because I want to use my one Cannon Blast on the Die Brave itself. And then just draw an extra card here. So, let's do that. But yeah, do you, any of you guys also feel that? Where, like, you like to play Zero, for example, with touch controls rather than playing, like, with an emulator? Or, like, with even the PC version that GPs, JP used to have, right? It was just kind of nicer, I feel. Oh, Dungaree! I haven't seen you in a hot minute. Damn, okay. I don't know where these where these decks are coming from, but... <laughs> cool, I guess. Alright, so we got a draw into the Great Dan Kaiser, which is pretty nice. A PG went out as well. Okay, we're drawing into other Great Threes now, so we have to... We don't want to see too many Great Threes early, because that means when we actually break ride, we just have a very little chance of hitting it. Because the only way to recycle triggers is the Shadow Kaiser. So, yeah. Gauntlet Buster. Okay, so we've seen Gauntlet. We've seen Dungri. I feel like we saw something else, but maybe I'm wrong. He runs crits on the Gauntlet, too. I was going to hit Goisha. That's actually fine. Goisha hit is fine. I really don't mind. But he used that just to hit Goyusha, and he has three cards in hand. Okay, call that down. I wonder what he's going for. Another gauntlet, so one card in hand. I can probably push him to four this turn, I think. From the looks of it, he's gonna like swing rear, swing van, swing van, I think. Just push me to three, which is a good place to stop as well. Now you guys also see the biggest weakness of this of this card, Die Driller. The 8k body makes it so that you have to call in front of a booster, otherwise it just doesn't do anything. Um, so we're gonna have to see what we do with it. Because it might be a little bit tricky. I wouldn't even mind if he hits one of my die briefs here. <laughs> Let's see. Da -da -da. Running out of time, too. He got to draw off the Rising Phoenix, which is good for him. He could hit a double heal here as well, which is also pretty strong. If he attacks Vanguard first, which he should. Which he should. Let's see. It is a smaller attack as well. Nope, he's not. Oh, would you look at that? I gotta follow while not being... While not streaming. <laughs> Alright, so he turned off his chances of a double heal. He's gonna go for a single heal here, maybe? Nothing, nothing. Okay, just double blank. That's fine. Let's see what we hit. Die Drillers, I don't need you anymore. Okay, that's nice. That's quite nice. How do I know move about here, though? I'm thinking... I'm debating if I want to call the Driller already, because we don't have any PGs. So, I kind of want to push him to 4, but then it's kind of dangerous because he hits a crit. I think I can't give him Limit Break, but I want him to give me Limit Break, right? But then if I kill both of his front rows, then he struggles to make something afterwards. Because he left two cards in hand, so he could th theoretically call both down. Um, I guess we try that. Because otherwise, he doesn't have a retire, right? So I go swing here, swing here, swing here. He swings into my intercept and then swings two times to the face. I guess it's kind of safe here. Sorry, there's a train passing by. <laughs> I have my window open because it's very nice outside. I guess we can not call intercept here. It's barely safe. It's barely safe. We'll just put it that way. But I do want him to give me damage, but I don't want to, like, get rushed down. All right, let's see here. Get another draw into a Great 3. That's kind of yikes. So we only have 5 left in the deck. Yeah, I'm going to hit another Rear Guard here. Because I think giving him Limit Break is a bit dangerous. Stops to respect the Gauntlet. Also because he plays crits. So if he just hits a random crit, I'm dead. Right. So let's see. Although I wonder if he plays crits on like that many crits. We'll see, I guess. We'll see. Okay, he right skipped. So you see. Haven't seen her in a while, actually. Tanky Vanillas have been very archetypical lately, so... Ooh! He's believing in the crit! <laughs> My man believes in sacking the crit, too. Okay. I see how it is. Just calls down the PG. No fear. No fear at all. Alright. I respect it. I respect it. Let's see. If he hits the crit, then I'm, then I'm dead. But... That's pretty risky. Like, what if I have one PG in hand? You know, I'm not streaming this. There's no way to, like, stream snipe me. So... 
It's like, I literally have to have one PG in hand, and that's it. Or hit a heal here, yeah, that works too. If anything, now I need him to trigger, otherwise I'm screwed. <laughs> I lose tempo. Hit a trigger, come on. One, hit a crit. Yes! Okay, that's good, that's good. Somehow I'm suddenly happy about him hitting that crit. Give the power to anger. Yes! Yes, he did it. He did it. All right, into a draw. I'm running out of triggers, man. Oh my god, I have three triggers in deck, and I might draw into into one of them. I uh, two triggers in deck. Two. All right, we're probably not gonna guard break, but we just want the crit here at this point. So good. So damn good. Always a treat. Always a treat. Alright, so now you can see, like, I mean, this game was weird. For all intents and purposes, this game was weird as hell. But it worked out? Question mark? Anyway, let me... I guess I'll just overcall this. Let me just set up intercepts. It doesn't really matter anymore. I have enough Candle Blast to go around as well, so it's all fine. So what we do here is swing here. And then we swing here, push him to four, you know. He doesn't hit anything, and then we do this. We use the extra drive skill first to draw one. So count us two. You get the nice little effect. We draw into something, and then we counter charge one from the other skill. And then we hit one trigger here and we can guard break, although it doesn't really matter here anymore, so it's fine if we don't. And here we go, two damage. He has to heal out. He does have three heals in deck, I think, so there's a chance he'll hit a six damage heal. Nope, not this time. All right. So as you can see, like, <laughs> I'm going to be real. That game wasn't so much that my deck won. It was more so that my opponent played weird. Maybe that was the first time using Narkami or something. I don't know. But definitely was a little bit odd, I guess. Um, so we managed to capitalize off of that and grab the win. So let's go for another one and see how we fare. The When I recorded this last night, I lost both games. And one of them was against like Silverthorns, which took me from like one to five. <laughs> I was just like, ah, yes, this is what the latter experience is like. So don't be fooled. Don't don't be fooled by me getting random wins. You know, this deck is, is fun, but that's it. It's fun. It's fun. Ooh, Murakumo. Interesting. I wonder which build of Murakumo it is because you know, Hyaki hasn't really been, like, doing anything competitively. It's just kind of, like, there. Alright, so again, opening hand. I think we hard mulligan for Kaisard and Kaiser Greater here. I know it's kind of risky, but, you know, kind of rewarded slightly. Slightly. This would be a really strong Goyusha turn as well, because we can go, like, double Die Brave and, like, just put all the Die Braves into the soul and draw a billion. It's actually quite nice. Although it's kind of lost one each time, unfortunately, but... It's not bad. It's not bad. We're going first as well, so let's see. If we hit the Kaiser Greater, that's good. If not, whatever. Another one? Okay. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Alright. Put that there. Ass. So this is gonna be the uh, Magatsu. Magatsu deck. This one, I think, is the one that people find more competitively viable. I think this one is the more hyped up one. That people are like, yeah, this is actually, like, decent at least. But actually, there was um, the Qualifier. The qualifier for the next year championship just happened today, I want to say. And, um... Oh, does he not have the grade one? Is he thinking what to ride? We had the qualifier happen just today. And, um... Interestingly, the results were, I think... Lukier won block A. And then... I know Liberators won one of the blocks as well. And Minerva, with, like, four crits, won one of the blocks as well. I can't remember what the last one was. I feel like it was Kagero? I mean, might have been Kagero. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to check afterwards. Oh, I think we just ride up here, bro. This, this hand is... <laughs> this hand is something else. Let me see what this gives me first. I'm basically taking out my heals from deck, which I guess I guess I don't mind. I guess I don't mind. All right, this is also nice. Uh, yeah, we can just do this. Let's go. All four die braves in my soul. That's actually nuts. Oh, the other deck that topped it was Maelstrom. Yeah, Maelstrom's been doing really good, and the builds are very different between each other. The builds are very different between each other, which is quite cool to see. Honestly, I think it's quite nice. Um, don't really have a. I could play this Die Kaiser down, but then I lose the Shadow Kaiser play. Or like you ride this on four, but it might be worth it. You know what? I'm gonna push a little bit. Let me use a Die Brave as well. <laughs> Let's start drawing slowly. This hand is kind of doo-doo. We can push him to three here. We're basically playing Turbo Daisha here. 
and then optimally we draw into like a Dai Kaiser in and a Shadow Kaiser, and then we can like on four do that. But he's not gonna push me to four for a while. Like I already know that. I already know he's not gonna push me to four for a while. Draw. Damn it! I need to draw so bad. At least we can draw off the Dai Brave now every turn. But you know. All right, blank, blank. Great Dai Kaiser has been achieved, which is kind of the one I don't want. It's kind of the one I don't want because then you can like you can ride it regularly. But the problem with the regular, with just riding this, is that you have to, like, power it up to get the refund. Or, otherwise, you, like, just attack with it. Count us two for the drive, and that's it. So, yeah. But, yeah. Like, this set has been very impactful on the meta itself. Like, Di Great Daikaiser, not so much, but, like, for Bermudas, we saw in the Grand Finals, Bermudas did pretty well. And now, like, Maelstrom got a top already, like, several times. And, like, Lukier is seen as one of the best decks out there as well. So it's been really, really nice. Very impactful. I like that. Looking at Infinite Rebirth, to be completely honest, Kagero looks really bad. I might eat these words later, but Kagero looks really bad. Like, I don't know, the Overlord Break Ride is fine. And then, like, everything else is, like, okay. But then, like, Dragular Phantom, like, I would say... Oh, hold on, I have to think about this. I hate thinking. <laughs> Mom, pick me up, I don't want to think. I think we just call I think we just played Daisha here at this point. We just push him to five and then maybe like hop deck Dai Kaiser into Shadow Kaiser. <laughs> um I guess I'm showing off Turbo Daisha at this point, which is fine. Uh Yeah, I guess we can do this. I mean Like riding regular Great Dai Kaiser just it doesn't feel good at all. It really doesn't feel good at all. I'm I'm being honest with y'all. I'm being completely honest. So the nice thing is that we still hit here. I haven't seen the PGZ plays yet, but we still hit regardless, which is nice. So these 12Ks are pretty annoying, by the way. 12K vanilla, or 12K like base power is pretty annoying. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. All right, we're gonna draw here. Maybe flip a heal or a draw. That's a Shadow Kaiser. I think that's my second, I only, oh no, that was the last game. <laughs> Never mind. here they are. Here they are. All right, that's still fine though. I mean, all things considered, we're doing fine. All things considered- Ooh, we pick up the Laurel. That's actually not cool. That, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. That means that I can, like... Depending on how much he kills on my board, I can go, like, Laurel... Die Brave if he heals down. Oh, it's not really worth the Die Brave anymore, because he's at 5. This is where I want to top deck Die Kaiser to Shadow Kaiser. We only play two Shadow Kaisers, so... That plan is already gone. So at this point, if I draw into a regular Die Kaiser, I want to call it down, probably. Oh, I want to write it, because I have things to call down. I called the one, this one earlier because I needed that on the field. You know, I say this every time, but I will never, like, force myself into a misplay just to show you something, if that makes sense. Like, I won't misplay and just throw the game just for the sake of, like, writing a card or, like, playing down a card. Like, I still strive to win, because the decklist, sure, it's focused around Great Dai Kaiser, but it has this alternate path of play style of going into the, the Dayusha with Goyusha, because sometimes you need that, right? So, that's the important thing to keep in mind. But damn, Magatsu is still holding it down, and he can multi-attack here too. So I only have one PG, but if he hits a stand and uses a skill... Oh, he has to already use it. He didn't Persona Blast, never mind. Oof, PG's falling down, falling down. Alright. Alright, so those go away, that goes back. Alright, so he has a lot of Magatsu's in hand. We have a lot of 12k attackers in hand though, god damn. Um. <laughs> I kind of have to do this, otherwise I'm kind of dying. Kind of. Sorta. Sorta dying. Sorta dying. Okay, we swing with Daisha into the rear here to restand with a crit, I guess. It doesn't really matter, but I want to flip a heal. I need a heal to survive, I think. Alright, uh, we got Great Dai Kaiser checked there. All the Kaiser Great is coming through as well, very nice. Alright, so we're just gonna use Laurel here. Restand, we have a crit. More chances to check heals is always nice. Oh, we don't have any more heals. Oops. Well, we can check a draw. <laughs> I just realized. Okay, draw into PG then. That works too. Ah, uh, draw into grade 2. That's fine. Alright, one more. Draw into PG. Nope, another grade 2. Alright. I might be dead then. Because he has, um... He has a Persona Blast in hand, which means he can make 4 attacks. And I don't have heals, so I'm pretty sure I'm dead. I need to draw into PG there. Do I even have PGs? I did, I did have two, I did have two. Alright, so my hope was valid. Yeah, so he does this, and then you can attack Kalmas 1, Persona Blast, call a Magatsu from hand. And we know he has two Magatsus in hand, so... Two of the great three Magatsus, that is. So, 
our attempt. Ooh, Musashi? Yeah, it is Musashi. Interesting. But yeah, our attempt to win with the other path hasn't quite worked out. But it's still like this this deck is really it's it's fun. Like I said, it's not something you expect to win with. It's something you bring to relax and just kind of chill with, even if you don't win. And then if you do win, you feel good, right? If you do win, you feel good about it. Otherwise, it's like, yeah, it's it's fine. It's fine. All right, so he's going to swing here. Persona Blast. Shoot. And then call the other one out, probably. Could call the Greed 2. Oh, no, he doesn't have a Greed 2. All right. Yes, now I PG this, and then I, I die. That's the first heal of the game for him. <laughs> Ten stands. Ten stands are out. Very cool. Thank you, Persona Blast. All right, man. 25 to the face. Maybe he... I was like, maybe we'll press end turn by accident, and I'll win. Easy. But yeah, no more heal in deck. PG here, probably? No, the draw. Anime finish. But yeah, that's basically the deck. I didn't want to, like, spice it up too much. It doesn't really do anything super spicy compared to some of the other decks that exist right now, but it's fun. It's fun. It's a nice little deck. It's still my boy, but Dykeyser will become a lot better with, like, Sinbuster's release, and also become very nice with uh, True Great Dykeyser as well. And in the future with G, Dykeyser is always used as well because he gets a stride and a lot of support. But yeah, so overall the deck is fun right now, but it really needs better support. You know, the regular Great Die Kaiser wasn't that good in TCG either. Kaiser Greater is also a pretty whack card, to be honest. So I'm honestly just glad that like the deck is playable, but it's definitely not super like anything to write home about personally. I know I'm like de-hyping it here, but I just want to be honest, right? But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Once again, huge thank you to everyone that came through yesterday. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. Thank you everyone for like the drawings and the gifts and everything and just being amazing, being such a cool community. I really could not be any more proud of, of this community. Y'all are actually just amazing. So thank you so much for coming through. Thank you for being amazing. Thank you for being yourselves, honestly. And yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Uh, there will be more Zero content in the coming week because we need to finish up on this set and then pr get ready for the last set of of Link Joker as well. But on that note though, that's gonna be it for me today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.